Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to do part 3 of the Angry Birds-like game. So let's go take a look at what we've had so far. Uh, where we got to was being able to pull the sling back and shoot the sling into some, some boxes. Uh, but we did have a request, even though we'd done the two parts there, five minutes each, uh, we did have a request to finish this off a little bit with some graphics and also make it restart so that we can restart that. Um, and we're doing this in a comparison with P5, uh, JS, and Matter. And so that one kind of finishes off with, um, with some images in it. We said, hey, that'd be easy to add images, and now we're going to show you it's easy to add images and stuff like that. So we'll do one last five minutes where we uh, also make this bigger. So it's a bigger world where we can follow the circle around, and we'll see if we can do that. So we had uh, the example that we were looking at to compare had this sky background image and dots. And we'll put the URL to that down in the in the YouTube video as well. So thank you for letting us borrow these assets. Uh, they're, they're very nice. Of course, these could be your own assets in any. So I thought we'd just use the same ones to, to do the comparison. All right, so we come on in and we're bringing in Zim. This is the code that we were working on last time then. And you can find this at zimjs.com slash five, I think it is, and it will be in there. We'll post that link as well. So when we bring in assets into Zim, this was just a lot of typing of these names, and I didn't feel <laughs> we had enough to do already. So this is how we would bring in the assets. Assets is equal to, we list the assets there. And then we provide a path to those assets as well. And we're going to start our timer and we'll apply all those assets. So my apologies for the little sneaky, uh, <laughs> little sneaky start there. <laughs> okay, so starting our timer. Is that going? Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. So this sets up those things, but we need to bring them in as parameters. So that's assets. That happens to be the next two parameters here and path, like so. Then down in below here, we can replace the circle with an asset like that, and the name of the asset, which was dot, dot .png, I believe. We need to center reg that, because that's square now, so center reg that. And also, uh, for the physics size, that will, be, that will be a square, unless we say the shape is actually a circle. All right, and let's see what we have. A mistake with the missing comma. A comma mistake, a common comma mistake. Uh, so there we go, we now have, yay, we've got an asset on there, great. Let's um, create the sky and we'll do that with a tile. So const sky is equal to a new tile because we're gonna tile three of these and we can just say the name of this asset and the tile will figure out that that is an asset that we're tiling. And we can say we want three of them by one column. We will dot size this to be um, null. We won't do anything with that, but we're going to keep the same proportion of this and make it higher. So we'll make it the stage height plus 200. So we're going to add some, some extra height onto that. And then we'll dot loop that on the stage at um, 0, comma, minus 200 high. So the sky will go up in the air. And let's have a look at that. So there it is, and it's it's longer, it's tiled longer. So we've got the, the tile added up there. We're gonna add some bounds to the physics. So that would be bounds, I think it's called, or is it border? Border, border, I think, border, border or borders, I'm not sure. Hmm, let me think, uh, I think it was in borders, plural. So borders, colon, a new boundary object. This is a new Zim boundary object. And we can say the sky, dot x comma the sky dot y comma the sky dot width and comma the sky <laughs> dot height you got it and not only that we're going to turn the follow or uh, the, we, we're going to turn the follow on we're going to follow the circle and for that we have to set the 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 world to scroll so scroll colon true this will allow our physics world to scroll so that we can follow the ball let's do that right here dot follow now when we throw the ball around, the physics world will follow the ball. 
So we do that and we shoot. Oh, we'll put a background in there so we can't see it. But anyway, you can see that there it is following the ball around. And we've got some height on there. Great. Because we put the background, we're going to have to bring our line right here. Every time we add our line, where was that? Here, stage at one will go up above the background and get great. We've got our line back. All right, super. That's, um, that's good news. And now let's put in um, the reset on this. So a reset would be something like frame.on, and this would be a key down, key down, comma, call this arrow function right here. We'll collect the event object in the arrow function there. And then we can say if the e.keycode, key code, is double equal to 32, that's the space bar, then we'll do this stuff. And what do we want to do? We want to set the circle back to where it started. Well, we don't really know where it started unless we say right here, circle dot, um, we'll call it B, BX for the, or SX, I guess the start X is equal to circle dot X like that. And we'll copy that and do it again with the Y. Now we were recording a start X and a start Y, but that was, um, that's a different thing. That's every time we pick it up, make it do it. So now we'll leave that one going and we've, we've made this like almost like a beginning X. Well, why don't we call it a BX and a BY for our very beginning. Great. Uh, not that it matters that much. But when we're done here, what we want to do is set the circles dot body dot X is equal to uh, circle dot BX like that. The reason we're doing the body is we're not really supposed to set the positions of a physics object. So um, to do that, we've actually got to go into the body and change X and Y. You see, the physics world is supposed to happen on its own. We're not supposed to be, come on and play God. But here we are going to be playing God. <laughs> so uh, we do that. And then when I hit uh, the space bar, oh, it started again, but it's still dynamic. So we'll set that to being static. Uh, circle dot static circle dot uh, dynamic uh, equals false like that great and that will reset it and let's stop our timer ah oh, was that five minutes and twelve seconds <laughs> okay so if we save that up what have we got we shoot and like that and then we've got motion and everything like that we hit the space bar and hey we're back to um, shooting again we hit the space bar. And hey, oh, it looks like we could maybe have rotated that circle around. Sorry for the franticness there, huh? And and we missed getting the um, getting that that one image in there. But hey, that, we we could do that right now if we wanted to. So there's shooting, and uh, if we want to make sure that the circle is uh, back to 90 degrees, or sorry, upright and zero degrees, that would be circle. Dot. I always feel so bad if when I code after my five minutes. <laughs> You're welcome to leave if you want. Circle dot body dot uh, rotation is equal to zero, and now that will begin again. Oops, sometimes I do that. I can try and make that bigger, uh, and that will begin again once we shoot all that stuff down. If I hit the space bar now, boop, there it is, nicely rotated. Now it didn't reset the the tower. I'm not sure if it's supposed to reset the tower or if we were just supposed to hit the space bar and then have another shot at the tower. Uh, but you can imagine that resetting the tower is pretty easy. Speaking of the tower, let's change the tower. Sorry, we're on borrowed time here. We'll change the tower down here to be the asset. We just missed this instead of the rectangles, asset. And what was it called? It was called um, equals or something like that. Equals dot PNG, I think. And we'll dot center reg that, which is why we put it in as an asset rather than just the word. We're center regging it right in here. Now, this is the tile. Oh, yeah, that's the center reg on the tile. Sorry. And then two times five. OK, so that brings in the equal sign assets. Hey, there they are already. Oh, we didn't make it. So now I reset and I shoot again. Hey, and I reset and I shoot again. Woohoo! I can shoot from here. Now that may not be desired uh, to keep on shooting with this thing, but you're you're welcome to do it. Boing. <laughs> okay, is that neat? Do you love the follow? And let's see where we can go to. It's way down here, and bang, there it is at the end of the follow. Bonk. 
and then we go backwards the other way. That took a lot of coding to get that into Zim. You know, that's a that's really cool stuff to make to to be able to follow uh, physics so easily and do that again in another five minutes. Good luck with um, with other libraries coding that in five minutes. Once again, we'll post this one. This one will be called Slingshot Two, and uh, it was uh, great for you guys to be here. Thank you very much for hanging out at Zim. You're welcome to come to zimjs.com/slack and uh, see what you can code in five minutes, and we'll be there to help you out. So. Um, Cheers. Have a great day and a great night. And thank you for the original posters of this stuff.